an overhyped gating sim with Pokemon elements, and its fans call it a meaningful and epic set of stories that dive into the hearts and minds of those who are experiencing growing up in a world that is consistently spinning out of control. I'm Michael Jor, and this is Niche Gamer's video review supplemental for Persona 5. Persona 5 has to be the best visual experience that I've had in video games, period. It is almost unreal just how well this game is presented to the player. Even after 160 hours of playtime, the game's visuals are still refreshing and brilliant. Every visual aspect of this game is amazingly tuned and well crafted. It would be nearly impossible to find a game that does it better. One of the best examples of this is how a typical battle is laid out for the player visually. Animations, characters, enemy models, the battle menu, the way that it's laid out, the designs, the dances, even your final finishing blow if you can pull one off, all have a visual flair that a lot of games cannot even hold a candle to. A key aspect that is weaved in between every element of this game is its personality. The personality of Persona 5 serves as the foundation for the game in its entirety. What it is and what it will be in the future will be remembered on its core personality, and none of it was tarnished by localization. That is an amazing feat for a game so huge as this. One of the most daunting aspects of Persona as a series is the gameplay and all the paths that you could choose to take within it. Persona 5 does a lot to make this massive game more accessible by all those who are would-be Persona virgins, while not taking away anything from the hardcore fans. This mostly comes down to how the game presents its information, stats, actions, and equipment. It does so much right in this aspect, it makes the overall gameplay experience feel like a continuous flowing river you control rather than some rapids that you've been thrown down. Following the standard Persona series formula, Persona 5 splits its player's time between the daily activities of the physical world and a sprawling adventure in the cognitive one dubbed the Metaverse. Most of the time, players will spend their time in the physical world in order to prep for events in the metaverse. This includes building social links, getting gear, getting items that will help heal you, and creating personas. Engaging in these activities will slowly gain you points toward five social stats. Kindness, knowledge, guts, charm, and proficiency. It is imperative that you build these social stats because they allow you to advance social links, which give you power-ups and allow you to learn more bits of the story. One of the most amazing feats in Persona 5 is that almost everything you do feels like it has weight and meaning. These are all choices that you have to make. You have a finite amount of time and your stats, personas, bonds with other players determine how things will end up at the end of the game as well as your ability to get there. One of the most gratifying and rewarding experience in the game is the combat. It brings a mix of style and substance that most RPGs can't even bring to the table. While being very classic and simple in nature, the ability to juggle your opponents, preventing them from even landing a hit, is amazing and fun. And for those who just can't get enough of Persona 5 and want to play it again, fret not my friends, there is a new game plus mode that will increase the difficulty if you so choose, while allowing you to do a bunch more things because you get to keep your Persona list, your social stats, a number of other things that would include spoilers if I told you, and allow you to play through the game in almost a brand new way. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say this, Persona 5 soundtrack is the catchiest soundtrack of not only 2017, but for the last seven years. Actually, I don't even remember a soundtrack that is as catchy as Persona 5. I still even listen to the soundtrack in my car because I got the big retard edition of the game. The sound design in general is equal to none and brings life to not only the battles, but the metaverse as well as Tokyo and all your interactions throughout the game. Persona 5 also gets bonus points for its voice acting and localization efforts. They have done an amazing job keeping it to the source material, despite a lot of heat from other retards who would say that the game was localized poorly because it wasn't adapted to American audiences. It's good the way it is, it's really close to the Japanese, and I believe that is excellent, and everybody watching this video, you will be fine with it as well, unless you work for a company that starts with a K or or P. 
Now I have the pleasure of taking on the monumental task of telling you about the amazing story in Persona 5 while not spoiling anything about it. To set the bar, this game has single-handedly pulled me out of a gaming slump after having to review this year's latest, slightly above average AAA game experiences. The long and short of it is that you are a good Samaritan high schooler who gets wrongfully convicted of assault after you stop an attempted rape. This leads you to be thrown into a probation situation, removed from your city, and leaving you in less than an ideal position. Those who've played the previous games in the Persona series might be shocked at how this game starts out and the way that everybody treats the main character. Persona 5 also does an amazing job breaking up the story into manageable bits, allowing for multiple highs and lows that the player will come across, leading to a grand finale. This series of tension and reliefs building up the story make it a more rewarding experience from every aspect and angle. There's also a lot of detail that goes into setting up plot points and story elements. Keen-eyed players will pick up on future events and it would also set the tone for twists that come later in the story. One of the most amazing feats in storytelling that this game pulls off is just how well they interlace all the characters together with the main story. Every character feels fleshed out to the T, making them not only interesting, but human. This also allows for interesting events to happen with social links that are well-crafted and tuned with the story and narrative. This is compounded when you realize that the social links are tied in heavily to major points in the story. Some characters which you might hate at the start of the game can become your favorites in the end with a feeling like they have really grown and gone through a character arc that is full and complete. This gives an additional sense of accomplishment because you know that you are the catalyst to help this person make a change in themselves. Persona 5 is hands down game of the year. Every aspect of the game is not only well designed, but well integrated to the point of perfection. I've yet to see a game in my lifetime that has done it as well as Persona 5. We almost always see that the story is a boat to float the gameplay, or the gameplay as the vehicle in which to drive the story forward in video games, which neither is the case here. Persona 5 opts to be a spaceship where every member of the crew is highly skilled and pulling their own weight in order to take the player to another world. Beautiful and masterfully executed, it is not a question of whether you should buy the game, it is a question of why you haven't bought the game yet. You will not get a better RPG gaming experience for quite some time, so do yourself a favor and pick this one up. Thank you for watching this video review. If you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you want to help us out, feel free to check out our Patreon page.